There are 52 weeks in a year. Unless the first day of the year is a Saturday, then there is actually 53. Which means if you are a star rider for every single Saturday, you can get around 5,200 star coins to spend on whatever you want. This isn't even including any of the star coin codes we get given throughout the year. Sorry, that's... I'm having a bit of technical trouble with my computer right now, so... Uh, the pain, the pain of... Yes. Anyways, back back to the important stuff. So I can round it to around like a 6,000 maybe. I don't know. It doesn't really matter for this video. And you have enough money to buy quite a few courses. If weekly star coins was my only source of star coins, i.e. like you can't buy any extra, I would probably spend all of my star coins on horses and leave my Jorvik shillings for clothing, but that is my own personal preference. Either way, 5,200 star coins is enough for around 5 horses or even more depending on the price. So I decided to compile a list of categories for the 5 horses you need in 2022. The first category of horse which I think you need is a pony. Now ponies are helpful because there's the pony race and also the pony championship. Personally I just like ponies but I guess if you don't like ponies then you just have a free little section there. But with the new Welsh ponies coming out in a week from filming this video, if you're one for wanting like the newest of the new horse then go for it new Welsh ponies. Otherwise my personal opinion, my personal preference and one of my- the Sorry, one of my favorite ponies on Jorvik are the Jorvik ponies. They are super cheap and I personally love all of their chubby models and their coat colors. However, if you have more of an expensive taste, the Shinko Tigs are also available and also used to be one of my favorites, but now I'd probably say Jorvik ponies are just so worth it for their price and everything. And if you want an even cheaper option, but not the Orvik ponies or whatever, then there is old model ponies as well. Like the old Welsh ponies are also cheaper now, but it just all depends on your playstyle and whether you like older models. And honestly, if you do, oh gosh, I'm missing the job. If you do end up buying the Jorvik ponies, you could buy two Jorvik ponies for the average price of one horse. So I might as well make this video six horses you need to buy in 2022. I don't know if that makes sense. Anyways, <laughs> the next category of horse is the American Quarter Horse because look, maybe I'm kind of biased, but I really love these horses. And the updated models hold a lot of memories for me because this was when my YouTube channel started to take off, but I suppose you could convert this category to buy your favorite breed in the game, although it should still be the American Quarter Horse. Slash J, Slash J, I'm, I'm, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. You guys can have your own opinions. <laughs> <laughs> this is a section for you to buy oh sorry a bit of a tight turn i've got to focus on this for a second this is a section for you to buy a good racing horse if that's what you enjoy now personally i don't really keep up on like all of the racing news so i still believe the pentavian is the quote-unquote best racing horse however this might have changed and i also believe that you can actually win any championship if you know the right shortcuts that your horse is completely happy and that you're wearing the right clothes but maybe you like dressage so there is always the Andalusian horse which is one of my personal favorite dressage horses so let me know what you would buy in this section in the comments below moving on to the next category club horse if you are in a club it is did I say that weirdly if you're in a club it is important like in my opinion, to show your loyalty through buying the club horse, if there is one. If you are a solo rider like myself, you just have another slot open, maybe another favorite breed. I don't know, another quarter horse, anyone? I, I, I don't know, I don't know. Anyways, <laughs> now I'm not telling you to buy the club horse the day you join, but when you feel the club is a good fit for you and you really don't see yourself leaving and also double check that like the owners aren't thinking of disbanding anytime soon and that the club is actually doing well. I think it's important your next horse should be the club horse. It's just a really awkward feel. I always felt kind of awkward. It's just kind of weird when someone didn't have the club horse and then they went out and buy bought a new horse and they've been in the club for like months and you're like well, why why are you still riding on the non-club horse and you just went and bought another like do you, i don't know i feel like it maybe shows like respect your loyalty to the club maybe that's just me but uh yeah 
I think club horse is a good thing to save up for in 2022. New horse is a section because new and updated, I can't speak, I can't speak, I'm so sorry. New and updated horses are of course released into the game every year, so therefore I personally spend some of my star coins on one if I really enjoy it. Now, if you only have enough for one new horse in a year, obviously, this is why I don't ride facing the camera. <laughs> Obviously, we can't see into the future, so here is what I would personally do. So, we just got the updated Apple Looses. Now, personally, I know that I already love Apple Looses, and I also, when I saw them in the game, I really liked them, and there wasn't much that I didn't like about them. Before I was a full-time YouTuber and didn't have a lot of star coins, I would also watch all of the videos that I could find on a horse that I wanted to buy, because... I don't think you should judge a horse by just the Star Stable trailer that they release. So I like to see them in the game. So sometimes watching YouTube videos was just my way of like, you kind of live vicariously through them. Like if you're watching me right now and you don't own this thoroughbred, you might be looking at my screen and being like, dang, that thoroughbred looks nice. So that's, that's just what I did. And back to the Appaloosas because I loved everything that I saw in the Appaloosa and they are already one of my favorites in real life. I'd say that I would have bought the Appaloosa anyways. However, as I said before, the Welsh ponies are coming out soon and I already know that the Welsh ponies aren't my favorite like in real life and I haven't seen any of the animations or coat colors yet because they haven't been officially released and I'm not one for spoilers, but if I'm not blown away by the animations or coat colors and if I wasn't a YouTuber, then I'd probably give them a miss and wait to see if there was another breed that I adored later in the year to save my star coins for. I feel like there can be a lot of pressure for some reason to feel the need to own and ride on the newest horse. I don't know, maybe it's like a, like a showing your wealth or like a power play in Star Stable or something. I, I don't know. <laughs> But I feel like there is a pressure where everyone's like, I have to own the newest horse, even though there's so many good horses in the game. So if you have another favorite horse breed in the game, then just buy it now. Like it doesn't matter if a new horse comes out because you can always save up star coins again. And if there's an like old, say the quarter horses were released nearly two years ago now. So therefore probably two years ago now. Oh gosh, I don't even know. But if you're still here two years later, looking at the American quarter horses and being like, yeah, I like, why do I always use the American quarter horse? Anyways, two years later and you're like, I still like looking at people riding around on the American quarter horse, then you're less likely to regret buying it because you've been looking at it for a while and enjoying it. Whereas if you buy a new horse when it's fresh off the update, then you might find out that you end up not liking the animations in the end or something. So yeah. This category is once again, save some star coins for maybe a new horse breed, especially if you're sticking out for like a Mustang update or something. I don't know what other horse breeds need to be updated. A lot of them probably. I forgot my train of thought. Hopefully that made sense. <laughs> Let's move on to the final section, the final horse that I think you should save for in 2022. And that is a magical horse. So if magical horses aren't your thing, then yay another free slot by a favorite horse however i put this section here because you might even want to start thinking about christmas 2022 because we get magic horses at christmas i'm not even sure if there's a set number of new magic horses that we get in a year but maybe you have your eyes set on an old one that we received last year the year before etc etc and you're waiting for it to come back so in my opinion it is worth holding on to some star coins even if by the end of the year there isn't a magic horse that you liked because now you just have more star coins to spend next year or enough star coins to buy another favorite horse so i completely missed that checkpoint but that is all of the categories of horses that I have written down. I know it wasn't specific horse breeds. I tried to give specific horse breeds at time, but there is so many horses in Star Stable because so many people have different tastes. Personally, I'm not usually a stock horse fan, but sometimes I'm just feeling more like a stock horse. Sometimes I'm feeling more like a warm blood. Sometimes I just want to ride ponies all the time. So I feel like it really is personal opinion and you can't listen to people telling you, you should buy this horse, you should buy that horse. And I wanted to include things like maybe you should buy an Icelandic because there's an Icelandic race, but I don't think you should just buy a horse because there's a race for it, especially if you really don't like the Icelandics. Yes, it might be annoying like, oh my gosh, there's 
this race little check mark thing and I'm missing like the smallest amount of XP. Maybe go ahead and buy one of the old models because they're like 500 star coins or something. So a little bit cheaper just to get that race done. You know what I mean? Now onto saving star coins. I have videos like I've... <sighs> Have I made one or two videos? I feel like I've made two videos. Maybe it's only been one on how to save your star coins. Because obviously you can't go week by week not spending star coins. Like I, I remember how hard it was. And a lot of people ask me how I have so many star coins. And over the years, I genuinely just don't feel an impulse to buy star, like to buy stuff anymore. I see a horse and I can look at it and I can be like, that's a nice horse. Then I don't end up buying it. I do that a lot in my shopping sprees. I'm like, oh, I like those curly horses. And a year later, I still haven't bought them. So I feel like I'm not too much help, but I feel like setting little goals for you might help as well. Like having a set number of horses that you want to buy in the year, things like that. So maybe this video helped you just a little bit to figure out what horses you're aiming to buy this year and set aside. Firstly, I, when I started to actually save up a lot of star coins, I started to tell myself, I don't want to go under a thousand star coins. Cause in a way I feel like I kind of wanted to have like that, not emergency or something, but maybe if there was a limited time horse, then I knew I had star coins. If there was a horse that I really, really, really loved, then I knew I had star coins. But even now I still try not to go under a thousand star coins. Just, you know, as a little budgeting thing. I don't even know why. You know what? I don't even know why, but remember to let me know in the comments below what horses you're thinking about buying this year and whether this video helped you at all. Categories you're going to be listening to. And honestly, I feel like a lot of people at this point might already have a pony. So you know what? Maybe the entirety of this video was absolutely pointless. You know what? Let's just delete, let's just delete it now. <laughs> but I hope you guys are having an awesome day or have had an awesome day. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. See you later. Bye bye.